Some of the Group 15 pre-emergence herbicides farmers have been using in soybeans may be getting a little road-weary. That's what studies conducted by extension weed scientists with University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture are beginning to show. Tommy Butts discussed those in a presentation at the Virtual Arkansas Rice and Soybean Field Day. So the first actual herbicide plot that I want to discuss is right next to the non-treated control, and that happens to be Esmetolachlor or dual magnum that we sprayed at a pint and a third per acre. Now you'll notice we honestly have you know, relatively poor pigweed control in that plot this year, and uh, although our grass control is very good. Now I attribute that uh, low pigweed uh, control possibly to maybe developing a little bit of tolerance. I'm not going to say we have full-blown resistance on this farm, but it may be that we're, we're evolving some tolerance to esmetolachlor after repeated use year after year. And that's honestly the same thing that uh, my fellow counterparts, Dr. Jason Norsworthy and Dr. Tom Barber, have seen at other research sites at Marion and Crawfordsville, where they confirmed esmetolachlor resistant pigweed. It was that same type of premise. It had been used year after year, and those pigweeds, uh, either we had a lot of escapes, or our residual length started to shorten up. Instead of getting maybe three weeks of control, we were really only getting a week, 10 days of control out of it anymore. So I wanted to highlight that, that we may be seeing that right here, and that's what to expect if we are evolving that resistance in our fields. That's kind of what to expect it to look like. It's gonna break early and we're gonna have a lot of escapes compared to what we're used to in the past. Our next plot right next door is our pyroxysulfone or residual plot, and we sprayed that at four fluid ounces per acre. And you'll notice that looks like a very, very clean plot, especially for only having one pre-emergence product sprayed on it at this time. Now that plot, again, uh, with that Zidua, has done an excellent job at taking out most of our pigweeds, about 90-95%. It also did pretty decent on our grasses. I will say it's a little bit weaker on grass than uh, like our dual magnum or our outlook, which is right behind me, but still does a fairly decent job. But the other benefit to Zidua is it actually has activity on our morning glories and it knocked out most of our morning glory population in the plot as well. So it gives us a little bit of that broad spectrum control here. Okay, so we got good Palmer control as well as some morning glory control. When we look at Outlook or dimethenamide right behind me, we sprayed that at 16 fluid ounces per acre or a pint per acre rate. In this plot, again, you'll notice that we do have quite a few pigweed escapes. It is better than our esmetolachlor plot that we have here, but again, still quite a few escapes, a little bit shorter residual than what our residual plot gave us. However, we do have really good grass control, probably better than our residual plot. But then when we look at morning glories, there's no morning glory control out of our outlook. 